What's up, all my Ewoks, Shoals, Droids, and Wookiees? It's Anna, also knows it's Star Wars Girl. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how William Shatner retweeted me. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to talk about this. But guys, before we get into it, my channel is Hardcore Shadow Band here on YouTube. So every single like, share, comment really, really helps out my channel, Fighting the Pesky YouTube Algorithms. And if you guys haven't yet, if you guys are new here, maybe take a minute, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. Make sure that that bell is set to all, that way you actually get notifications when I post videos and when I do live streams. And with that being said, guys, let's get on to the topic. All right, everyone, so I have Twitter pulled up. Now, this is my Twitter. It is a little bit different uh, than usual, and I will explain why. So I posted a video yesterday, which was my vlog of my trip to Cincinnati, and I went to the Cincinnati Comic Expo. I know some of you guys were upset because, you know, we didn't really announce that we were going. Uh, we, meaning me, Cecil, Yellow Flash, Ashton, Camelot, Crow, Joe Ball, the Diaz brothers, we didn't really announce it because we all just kind of wanted to hang and to film, and we didn't want to make it, like, a big deal. Also, we didn't know if we were going to get, like, canceled from it so sometimes you know we just we we know what cons are safe to announce and what we don't know you know which ones aren't so it was kind of up in the air and we didn't want uh the guys getting you know booted from their booth so that's why we really didn't announce anything but we all wanted to go not only to see you know joe ball and the diaz brothers but we all wanted to go and meet william shatner and so flash got his dvd signed i you know just I wanted to go and meet him, and so I got my picture taken with him. He did have plexiglass, which was unfortunate, but I had a fun little interaction where I guess I blinked in my photo, and so they made me take another one, and I was like, I looked at him, and he, like we looked at each other through the plexiglass, and I was like, I'm sorry, and he's like, I'm not. And he had this big old smile on his face, and I'll put the po uh, the photo up in here. So yeah, so I had just had like my big cheesy smile, and he had you know a grin on, and it was like super nice. And then I took a Cecil wanted me to be in the picture with him and William Shatner as well, so I took a picture with Cecil and Shatner. And it's so like we just couldn't stop laughing at the difference in his smile when <laughs> Cecil walked up to him versus when he took a photo with me. So like that was just absolutely hilarious and so when you know I got to go and meet him like the second day I was getting something signed and I was up in the yard if I wanted him to sign my photo or if I wanted him to sign one of like I, I brought a book for him to sign and I went with the book because I figured you know he's already in the picture with me like obviously it's him and so he signed my book which I'm very very you know happy and grateful about and now next time if I meet him because I have the comic version I'm gonna have to have him sign the comic or if I ever you know get my VHS's back from my mom I'm gonna have him sign the Wrath of fucking Khan because I need that one signed by him <laughs> but anyways that 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 was basically what was in that video. It's like a vlog of my whole weekend. And you guys can see I dressed up like Star Trek the whole weekend. I did my version of the mirrored universe. And then I did Seven of Nine. And when I completely choked was when I met Seven of Nine. Because I got so nervous. Because I'm like, he's right there. And I don't know what to say. And all of my friends are just standing there staring at me. And it was really kind of like uncomfortable. Because I'm like, everyone's watching me. There's so much pressure. And I'm about to like talk to William Shatner. Like... I don't know. If I was by myself, I don't think I would have choked the way I did. But, you know, it's 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 the pressure of people watching you, which like I can stand there and like draw or paint in front of everyone and like it not bother me. I could do streams with thousands of people watching me and it doesn't bother me. But like my five friends watching me like meet William Shatner, that was really, really embarrassing. But then today I woke up to uh, this tweet getting a lot of interaction because, because look who he tweeted me, it's William Shatner. <laughs> so he said, yet yeah, she didn't change her name to that Star Trek girl 66 shocked emoji hmm, emoji I must be losing my touch and I responded as you wish captain so now on freaking Twitter I am that Star Trek girl 66 <laughs> with the blue check marks if you guys want to come find me that's where I'm at but I was just I'm losing my freaking mind <laughs> And just to make sure that this stayed on my timeline, I retweeted it as well with the photo of my changed profile because when Captain James Tiberius Kirk 
says that you need to change your name from that Star Wars, or is that he's disappointed that you didn't change your name to that Star Trek girl from that Star Wars girl? You change your name to that Star Trek girl 66. So now on Twitter, I am that Star Trek girl uh, 66. To you, Captain. And like I said, as you wish, Captain, live long and prosper. It was a pleasure meeting you. You'll never lose your touch, which he won't. And it was such a pleasure just meeting Captain Kirk and now this interaction. Like, holy shit. I was so, like, eh about my last interaction. So this, like, it just, it made my day. You know, they always say never meet your heroes. But when it comes to William Shatner, that's not the case. And I'm so happy about that because every interaction I've had with Mark Hamill, you know, Luke Skywalker has just been not the nicest person in the world let's just put it that way and uh, not the most understanding person in the world you know and that's putting it very very mildly which sucks because you know I'm that Star Wars girl but every interaction I've had with people from Star Wars is not very pleasant unless I meet them in person and they're absolutely lovely but uh on Twitter not so much but I can say this every interaction I've had with William Shatner whether it be on Twitter or in person he has been <laughs> absolutely lovely and so this is just like oh my gosh it's captain kirk <gasps> oh, i know you guys probably don't care but i'm like losing my mind a little bit and so like oh my god it's 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 captain kirk and i'm i think i'm i'm actually gonna cry <gasps> but <laughs> oh my gosh i know that this is a really cheesy video but i just wanted to share it with all of you guys because i'm really really happy and that made me happy. And for all those people that are like, Annie, you never make any happy videos. I'm like, I do it all the time. You just don't watch them. But here's one. Here's here's one where it's definitely just pure joy and happiness. But anyways, everyone, I just wanted to share this with you. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. If you ever had an interaction with William Shatner, let me know about it. What did you think? If you have any advice on how to not choke uh, like I did, let me know down in the comment section. Well, if you guys haven't yet, please smash the like button and uh, maybe smash the subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications. Make sure that that bell is set to all, that we actually get notifications when I post videos and when I do live streams. And until next time, everyone, I hope you have a great, great rest of your day and may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much again for supporting my channel and my content. And if you guys would like to support me further, my cosplay calendar, my gamer edition cosplay calendar is live still now on Indiegogo for a limited time only. We were very, very successful in the campaign and we are currently in in demand. In demand is only going to be up for a limited time only. So be sure to go check it out before we take this down. And guys, once again, thank you so much for this. If you guys want to go and back this campaign the link is down below in the description of this video and make sure that you guys check it regularly because i do add updates on there and more photos are coming soon so thank you guys and last but not least guys i have a twitch that i am trying to go i am at 5.7k followers right now and i'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year so if you guys haven't gone and followed me over on twitch go and do so now the link is in the description of this video i play a lot of games on here like elden ring and kotor so go check it out if you haven't already. And that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.